Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox it and have a look at this 8-bit DO gamepad. It's a Bluetooth gamepad for connecting to Android or Windows, Mac OS, works with Steam and the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to take it out and demonstrate its functionality here. Hold on a minute, we'll check it out. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. We got a USB C charging cable, which I'm sure allows you to also hook it up to like a, a PC or a Mac, for example, if you want to use it in a wired configuration as opposed to using it over the Bluetooth. So that's nice. That way it'll stay charged, especially if the batteries in it die. You got a little instruction manual. Again, this is the SN30 Pro. Uh, the, well, this is for, there's two different models. There's the SN30 Pro and the SF30 Pro. As far as I can tell, they're identical in appearance, except for this being the SF30 Pro is designed to look like the old Super Famicom controller versus the Super Nintendo controller, the Americanized version. So as you can see here, we've got like the colorful buttons, the green, blue, yellow, and red, whereas the old... Uh, like the regular Super Nintendo just had buttons that were kind of dull and colored like the rest of the gamepad. So that's the difference. Got a little piece of plastic covering up the, the buttons here, but has a very sturdy feel to it. Feels just like the uh, the old controller you'd remember. You got your shoulder pad buttons here. Of course, it has more buttons than the old SNS controller used to have. They didn't have the joysticks, and they only had, I believe, one shoulder button for each. It's been a long time since I played with the Super Nintendo, so my memory of that's probably a little bit off, but... Um, this way it'll be compatible with a wide variety of games, whether it be like platformers where you just need a game pad like this, or if you're going to play more modern games that might be in a 3D environment, you've still got joysticks to work with for looking up and down and, you know, looking left and right or whatever the game, however the game utilizes that functionality. But you've got uh, a little light indicator here. I'll find out what all these things do in a moment. i got to look at uh, instructions. I tend to do these open boxes with... Uh, without playing with the product first. You got a little button here, it probably does some sort of synchronization. Again, I'll find out shortly. But uh, yeah, basically the size, that old nostalgic feel of a Nintendo slash Famicom controller. Get your USB-C port here for charging slash connecting it to a system, like I said. And I'm gonna be using it today with uh, my Galaxy Tab S6 Android tablet so we can see how well it works. So give me one second, and I'm going to look through the instructions and figure out how some of this stuff works, and then I'll get it paired up with the tablet, and we'll try it out. So to pair it up with whatever device you want to use it with, in this case, uh, for Android anyway, you hold down this button, which is the Bluetooth pairing button, for three seconds, and then you scan with whatever your device is, and it should pick it up in that device's uh, Bluetooth list, and you tell it to pair, and it immediately pairs the device. I have paired it up already. It took just a couple seconds. So that's pretty straightforward. All right, I've downloaded a game called Apple Knight, which is a platformer game, which should be pretty good for a test run for this sort of thing. Let's see what it does. Okay. Seems kind of like, uh... It's not really... Okay, there we go. I can throw apples, I can dash. I guess you can't duck or anything. Light it, but I think it's already lit. This 
seems like it's maybe, I don't know, like a, not super responsive. I don't know if there's any way to calibrate that or not, but like the, uh, the cross pad I'm noticing isn't like ultra responsive. The attack buttons and so forth seem to be pretty good. And actually it seems like this, uh, the joy pad is a little bit more responsive than the cross pad is. So depending on the type of game you're playing, that might be a bigger, you know, like it might be a detriment or it might be okay. Pretty straightforward. Like I say, it seems like uh, the cross pad is a little bit less uh, responsive, and it may just be this particular game where it's not working as well as it maybe you'd want it to. But the uh, the the uh, joystick seems to be pretty good, and the other buttons worked fine. I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, the battery may be a little bit low out of the box, so that might be something to deal with too. But uh, pretty good experience with it so far. I'm going to be using it for some other videos coming up here soon that uh, I don't want to spoil for you guys, but I got some pretty interesting, I think it's interesting coming up that you guys might enjoy, but this will be an integral part of it. So uh, that said, if anybody has any questions, please ask me in the comment section below. The MSRP for this device was $45 on Amazon. Um, I don't know, there's probably better options for that price range, but I haven't really tested that many game pads. But if you got a desire for a nostalgic feel, this will provide it for you. Like I say, it feels, it would be really good for um, emulator games, obviously, which is probably why a lot of people would buy something like this, is to play emulator games over something like this Apple Knight game. I bet it'd be pretty good for Metroid uh, or Super Metroid, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, the buttons feel good. Feels like it's decent construction. Uh, I can't really tell you yet about the battery life, so I don't really know. I don't want to I don't want to lie about that. Uh, maybe I'll add that in the comment section. And I'll pin that when I get more information about it. Uh, but if anybody has any questions, ask in the comment section. If you like the content, please like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel and share the video with your friends if you like to. Appreciate it a whole lot. We'll talk to you guys again real soon. Take care.